In a previous video, I used a signal generator to help me diagnose an ABS wheel speed sensor. Well, in this video, I'll be showing you how you can use your phone and its headphone jack to make your own signal generator. Some of the items that you'll need is just a smartphone that's able to download a signal generator from the app store. Doesn't matter what signal generator you choose. Uh, I believe I chose just the first one up there. This is Android. Find it in your Apple Play Store. Uh, I'm sure there'll be a couple options there as well. You need either a headphone jack or the dongle so that you can have a set of headphones or in this case, this is headphone jack to dual RCA. It doesn't have to be this, it can be headphone to headphone, uh, like an auxiliary cable. I find this to be the easiest because it's already split out into two, uh, and then it's easier to get a hold of the outside here and the inside here having a positive and negative, uh, and then just some alligator clips. That's all you need. So once you have your signal generator downloaded, let me just show you how it works. You just plug this into the headphone jack, and then the alligator clip one, goes on the inside, little stub, not sure what that's called, but, and then the other one goes on the outside casing. So the very outer ring, so that's your positive and negative. Now let me hook it up to my scope. Let me hook it up here, and then you can see the sine wave that it produces. So this is a signal generator. I can, with this anyway, I can produce a sine wave, square wave. So let me hit, well, let me turn this on real quick. Okay. So now it should work. I hit play here and there it goes. You can see the sine wave. And if I adjust the frequency, so that's 2000, let me adjust it uh, to 200. You can see the frequency changes. 20 is really, but you could do 260, 2600. So anyway, this number in Hertz, as that changes, you can see the frequency here changes. And then again, I could do a square wave if needed. Uh, I can change it. Uh, there's a, just a saw wave, uh, triangle wave. But for this purpose, we're just going to use just the sine wave here. So that is how you can make a signal generator out of your smartphone. And you can see it here on the oscilloscope, that wave. But will this work for ABS systems? Well, let's hook it up to the car and find out. So I'm tapped into the ABS uh, signal side or the harness side just like before with the other signal generator. The other one, my black is going just to a ground somewhere on the body. I have my phone hooked up with my signal generator and then I'm just gonna hook up one to the little nublet on that and then the other to the body of that RCA. So now I should be producing a signal when I hit play. I'm gonna go ahead and put my scan tool here so you can see what the ABS uh, signal is picking up. So we're gonna start with 550 hertz. I have the left front wheel speed sensor and the right front wheel speed sensor. We're not moving, so I'm hooked up to the left. You'll see the left change, but not the right. So let me just go ahead and hit play on our signal generator, and you can see now, now it thinks we're going 32.93 miles an hour. Let's pause this, change the hertz to um, 900. And now it thinks we're going 54.68 miles an hour. So it looks like uh, success. We're working. Let's change it to 1,000. Thinks we're going 60 miles an hour. Change it to 1,500. 90 miles an hour. 17. 103 miles an hour. So you can see it changing, and we can graph that too. So right now we're going 103 miles an hour. Now it just dropped to zero because we paused. Go to a thousand, hit play. Now we're back up, 60 miles an hour. We'll change this to 500, hit play, 30 miles an hour. So you can see that on the graph, it's changing as we're changing uh, the Hertz. So pretty cool. That's how you can build your own uh, signal generator to test an ABS uh, wheel speed sensor. So now that we know it works, let's make these ends less cumbersome. Now there should be a positive and negative in each one. 
So what we want to do is just strip away some of this black insulation so we can get access to the positive and the negative. So we just separated it there. Now you are able to just use one side if you want and just have the positive and negative out of one side or you can take a positive out of one side and a negative out of the other side. I like that idea, just having one on each side because now it gives you uh, flexibility and mobility. Flexibility and mobility. Now really we could put any tip that we want but let's just use some alligators. We'll use a black and a red alligator. All right, there we go. So now we have our own lead for our signal generator coming out of our phone. Well, there you go. That's how you can make a signal generator out of a cell phone and its headphone jack. Pretty slick. Now, will this work on every vehicle? I'm not sure. I've only tested it on our test subject here, which is a 2004 Dodge Grand Caravan. But I'd be interested to hear uh, if you've tried it uh, what vehicles you've tried it on, put it in the comments down below. Uh, it's a pretty cool trick. Some signal generators can be um, more pricey, so just for a couple bucks, maybe you have a auxiliary cable lying around that you could just test it with. But either way, uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. See you on the next one.